OK, in this video, what we want to do is test our knowledge on the period of these transformed trig curves. So for this first one, y equals sine theta plus 5, that will translate the curve 5 units up. It won't change the period of the function, and so the period would just still be 360 degrees. OK. Now, for y equals cos of theta minus 60 degrees, that's a translation uh, that will move it 60 degrees to the right. OK, so it's not going to change um, how often the cosine curve will repeat. And so it will stay the same at 360. For number 3, y equals 8 tan theta. That's a stretch by factor 8 parallel to the y-axis. So tan is going to get stretched upwards. It's not going to change in the x-direction, however. And so the period of tan will not change. And so that stays the same at 180 degrees. Now, y equals sine of 5 theta is a stretch by factor 1 -fifth parallel to the x-axis. That will change the periodicity. Okay, So 360 divided by 5 makes 72 degrees. So this graph will repeat itself every 72 degrees rather than every 360. As for cos of theta over 3, that's a stretch by factor 3 parallel to the x-axis. So the curve is getting stretched outwards. So 360 times 3 will be 1080. So this graph repeats itself every 1080 degrees. As for number 6, tan of 2 fifths theta, that is a stretch parallel to the x-axis, factor 5 halves. So the tan curve is getting stretched out by a factor of 2.5. So 5 halves uh, times by 180 makes 450 degrees. And then finally, number 7. Number 7, I've been a bit mean here because I've thrown in two transformations. In this transformation, well, within this, we've got a stretch and we've got a translation. Now, as we know, the translation makes no difference. So you can ignore that plus 30 degrees. That has no bearing upon the, the uh, period whatsoever. The fourth theta, however, does because that's stretching parallel to the x-axis by factor a quarter. So 108, oh, sorry, 360 divided by 4 makes 90 degrees. So this has a period of every 90 degrees. And so that is how you can state the period of each of these functions given the transformation.